In today's video, I'll be testing a bunch of USB-C to HDMI hubs to see which ones will work with your Samsung phone, with Samsung DeX, or just with screen mirroring. Today, I'll be testing the Note 9, the S9 Plus, as well as the Galaxy S8. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. To start off this test, I will be using the Samsung DeX. Now this is Samsung's Samsung DeX device. The benefit of one of these is it does have two USB ports. It has a fan as well as the HDMI out and a USB-C input so you can charge your phone at the same time. That's actually required to use Samsung DeX. Now I do wanna mention, if it requires power, you're more likely to be able to run multiple applications at once. If you have just like a dongle like this, that's just USB-C to HDMI, you only can open five applications up at one time. And so today we're going to be testing out all of that, as well as if these devices are able to charge the phones at the same time. So here we go with the Samsung DeX. First, we're going to plug in the Galaxy Note 9. All right, here we have Samsung DeX on the screen, as well as we can still use our phone. Now that's unique to the Galaxy Note 9. If I pull down the notification shade here, I do have the option where I can use my phone as a touchpad. So now I can use the touchpad. And then I also have the option, if I pull this down, I can go into screen mirroring. So the Note 9 definitely has all of the features that you can use with Samsung DeX. And I do wanna mention that my Note 9 is unlocked right from samsung.com. So if you're experiencing something different, your country just may have different support. So now let's move on to the next device. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, and this one is a T-Mobile version here in the US. So we plug that in and it goes right into Samsung DeX, no problem here on the DeX pad. I can use the phone as the touchpad, there's no way I can actually use the phone at the same time like the Note 9. If we go down here into the settings, we can see that it is charging. And then I also have the option to change it from just normal decks to the screen mirroring option. So here I pull this drop down and now I can fully utilize my screen here. So I could play a game on my phone and it would mirror onto the TV. So that works just fine. Next, let's try the Samsung Galaxy S8. And this is actually the Sprint variant. So this one um, should work in Samsung DeX as it is connected to a actual Samsung dock. So there we go. We can see that it loaded up right into Samsung DeX. And here on the touchpad, I do have the option to go through and use my finger as the touchpad this is the first time I'm starting up decks. So it's just getting it all set up here. Here it's gonna talk to you about the gestures. And there we can see in the bottom, this is charging. And then here, of course, we can go in, pull the drop down here, drop down here, and then we can go back to screen mirroring. So there you go, the Samsung DeX works with all of these devices, charging, screen mirroring, as well as Samsung DeX. All right, we're going to omit the Galaxy S8. Having some issues, it worked on some of these, didn't work on some, so we're just going to take it out. So the next device is we're going to use the standard USB-C to HDMI from Samsung. Now there are a bunch of different models of these, but this does not have any powered connection at all, so you just need to get a HDMI cable to plug it there in the back. So here we just need to plug in an HDMI into the bottom of the device. You can get one that has a male HDMI. I'm going to plug it right into my Galaxy Note 8. There we can see it instantly goes into Samsung DeX. And then here I do have the option to use my phone as a touchpad, just like that. Now I did mention that when you are plugged in without power, you can only open up five applications. So let's try that out. Here I'm opening up YouTube. I have an internet browser. That's three apps. Chrome, four apps, Netflix, five. All right, let's try one more. And there you saw it closed an app. And down here at the bottom, can't open more than five apps in pop-up view. So you'll only see that notification when you are using just the USB-C to HDMI. The Samsung DeX Pad offers it so you don't see that when you only have five applications open. And then here we can switch to screen mirroring. 
Now, of course, there is no power cable in here, so it is not charging at all. So this option is a little bit cheaper. I think I got this for $40. So it works best with the Note 9. This is the one that can do DeX with just a USB-C to HDMI without any power. So now trying this with the Galaxy S9 Plus, it says HDMI connected, and there it is going into screen mirroring. And when I pull this down, there is no option for me to change any of the settings to go into Samsung DeX. It's not charging at all. So there you go, that is the Samsung USB-C to HDMI. All right, the next device is by Sinster. This has a HDMI out, USB-C in, and three USB 3.0 ports there on the side. So here we're going to plug this in just with HDMI first. And then we are going to plug in the USB-C into the Note 9 and see what happens. And there you go, without any power, this is using Samsung DeX with the Note 9 onto the TV. That is pretty awesome. I just plugged in the power and now it is charging. And let's try to open that sixth application. And still with the third party adapter, it only lets you open five apps at once. Let's now try this with the Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay, it says HDMI is connected. And there you can see that it is just screen mirroring. When I pull this down, I do not get any option to go into Samsung DeX. And there you go, you can screen mirror on the S9 Plus, but uh, it is not charging. You could plug in the charger and have it charge as well, but again, no Samsung DeX option. And the USB ports would work. You could plug in mouse, keyboard, everything all into this port at the same time. And then on the back, it does also have an ethernet port, which is pretty sweet. Now the next one, this is the AZ Dome 12-in-1 adapter. I already did a full review on this, but let's just try it out again. So here I plugged in the power HDMI. All right, loaded Samsung DeX up on the screen, as well as it is charging at the same time. Here we can see how long it's going to take to charge. I have noticed with the Samsung devices, it's charging a lot faster here. It says it's gonna take three hours and 41 minutes to charge, even though it's already at 90%. So you don't get a fast charge out of here. Maybe I need to get a higher power charge. And only five applications can open at once. With the Galaxy S9 Plus, it immediately went into screen mirroring. And again, it is charging the phone, but most likely very slowly compared to using a fast charger on its own. But you could use the phone with no problems. And you still have the all the other ports. If you want to see my full video about this, click the link in the pop-up on screen. Now next, I want to test out this bb Ing one that I tried before. So here we're going to plug in the fast charger, USB-C. And now we're going to plug this right into my Galaxy Note 9. And for whatever reason, I cannot get it to connect to this. It's not showing HDMI connected or anything. Let's unplug the power cable, see if we can do just screen mirroring. Let's try my Galaxy S9 Plus. I don't know, maybe my device has gone bad, but it is not showing screen mirroring or HDMI connected on any of my devices. Now next we have the Wolfalo. This is one that I tried a long time ago. Okay, I finally was able to get the Wolfalo to connect without any power, just through screen mirroring. It is not giving me the option to go into Samsung DeX even on the Galaxy Note 9. Let's try to plug in power, see if that helps. And there it goes into Samsung DeX. So that took a little bit of work to get going, but we have all the Samsung DeX functionality right here on my Note 9. Let's try the S9 Plus. And it did go into screen mirroring on the S9 Plus without any power plugged in. And this is interesting with the Wolfalo device, the S9 Plus from T-Mobile, I do get the option to switch to Samsung DeX. I have not seen that yet on any of these other third party devices. There you go, I have the touchpad and everything with the S9 Plus. So if you're looking for a cheaper device than the Samsung DeX, that might be the way to go. But like I said, it took me a couple of times before it actually started working. And last here we have the Easy ACC. So this is just USB-C to HDMI. We'll plug this back into the TV and see how this works. So this is plugged directly in the back of the TV now. Plug it into my Galaxy Note 9. Again, this device will not have power. 
so it could only open up about five apps at once. But there it goes right into Samsung DeX. I love when that happens. There's no wondering if it's actually gonna work. And there we get the notification that it can only open up five applications at once. So that is all the devices with the Note 9. And here we're gonna try the S9 Plus. Plug it in, it jumps right into screen mirroring. So there we have the phone mirroring on the TV. Looks like it's a tiny bit loose there, so it disconnected. So be careful with that. And then down here we have no option to go into Samsung DeX and it is not charging either. And there you have it. That is my full comparison of the USB-C to HDMI adapters. If you have any further questions about any of these devices, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more about what Samsung DeX can do, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.